Hello there, this is Dragon Souped, also known as Sotasaur in game. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can prepare for Minecraft's next major update, the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update within your survival worlds. Now, let's get right into the video. To start things off, you're most likely going to want to prepare some new gear before trying to explore the new caves and mountains. You're generally going to want some good quality armor, tools, and weapons. Food is necessary to keep going for long periods of time, and building blocks alongside water can help you scale the new structures. If you're in an existing survival world, however, you may want to use elytras, flying machines, or other modes of transportation in order to actually find new terrain. Traveling through the Nefer will be a huge help in doing so, as one block traveled in the Nefer equals to eight blocks traveled in the overworlds, allowing you to travel even more quickly across the world. Alongside this, however, you may also want to prepare some specialized tools for the job if you're going to be dealing with the new caves and mobs, which I'll be covering shortly. To start things off, the deep dark biome comprises of the caves that are located close to the bedrock level. Within these caves, you'll be able to find valuable ores alongside the new scope growth box. Useful new blocks which can be used to create wireless redstone contraptions. If you're planning to explore this biome, make sure to bring a pickaxe that is iron or better, and bring lots of light sources, as there is very little light to be found within the deep dark. Within these caves, you'll also be able to find a new mob, the Warden, a powerful but blind monster that hunts using sounds. You may want to bring some items, such as snowballs and eggs, to distract wardens if they come close. Another biome you may want to explore within the update are the dripstone caves. Here, you'll be able to find the useful stalagmites and stalactites, which are spike-like blocks that damage mobs and can be used in traps. Here, you may want to use a pickaxe to mine these blocks, but you may also want to bring a water bucket, as these caves feature lots of long drops, which can potentially be fatal to players. The lush caves are another biome featured in this update, which feature new types of grass, plants, vines, and flowers. As the vegetation here will slow you down, you may want to use hoes or shears to destroy the plant blocks. It may also be wise to bring some buckets around, as the new mob here, the axolotl, can be picked up within the buckets, allowing you to easily tame and transport these mobs. Finally, if you're out exploring the new mountain biomes, the mischievous new goats can prove to be dangerous, these agile animals, found in the mountains, have a tendency to charge at mobs and players that they don't like and send them flying, potentially to their deaths. When traveling into the new mountains in this update, you may want to bring feather falling boots in the event that you take a fall from one of these goats. Finally, another thing you want to consider when preparing for the new update are wandering traders. These rare mobs often sell items from other biomes. You can purchase nautilus shells, bamboo, ferns, slime balls, coral, and other biome exclusive items. Perhaps when the update releases, you may be able to obtain new items from these mobs. Make sure to keep an eye on your world's wandering traders when 1.17 releases. Well, that's all I have for this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other videos too. This is Dragon Suit, signing out.